man. One kiss is all it takes. Falling in love with me. Possibilities. I look like all you Mr. Dave. How you doing? Welcome again back to the Monkey London channel. Yeah, we've come to take over by the looks <laughs> of things, isn't it? It's becoming a bit of a West Midlands channel by the yeah, looks of yeah. it. Today we're doing something really special. Yeah. Do you want to just run us through what type of Ford it is? Uh, it's a Sierra Sapphire Cosworth four-door. was a four-wheel drive, but now rear-wheel drive. Okay. The earlier Sapphire is a two-wheel drive, and the later Sapphire is a four-wheel drive, so this was a, a four-wheel drive but now running two-wheel drive running gear instead. And how come? I'd like to say that I changed it because I'm, you know, because <laughs> I prefer rear-wheel drive, but actually the lad who owned it before me, he changed it to rear-wheel drive. Ah, I see. Yeah. And the, the famous YB engine? Yes, it is, yeah, yeah, 200 block YB engine. And just run me through, the YB, did that come in all the Cosworth models? Yes, yeah, different variations of it, depending on whether it was an Escort, a Sierra, an RS500, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Unfortunately, I can't claim to do any of the mods myself on this one, so... You know, the uh, description I've got for you is a little bit vague compared to, compared <laughs> to what I'm... Not quite like the yeah, M3 in the, the Cayman. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. have the ins and outs of it as much as I normally would. Uh, roughly what sort of horsepower are you running? Just flicking through the paperwork before, it is saying 400 horse and 400 pound foot of torque. Okay, so pretty healthy. And what sort of boost is that at? Uh, well, it's, it says 32 PSI, believe it or not. <laughs> Which is a lot of boost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like hell of two, a lot of boost. Yeah, it's saying peak to 32 and hold at 27. Crazy. So yeah, a lot of boost. have to excuse me Dave because I am a complete Ford noob I know absolutely nothing so hopefully you can kind of shed a bit of light on yeah, what I'm looking at I can't be as thorough as I normally would be, <laughs> it's a forged engine build on this car uh, it's running a 200 block which is the uh, the stronger block for the Cosworth there was a 205 and a 200 this is the 200 from the RS 500 yeah 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 it's uh, forged internals uh, it's got a uh, opened up ported head it's got cams both sides in letting exhaust the cams are done i couldn't couldn't tell you which ones they are i can't remember stuff, yeah, yeah off the top of my head turbo technics t34 hybrid turbo uh with the bigger exhaust housing so it makes uh, makes a lot a lot of boost very aggressively yeah rs500 intercooler rad tech radiator three bar map sensor so sort of it's uh, it's pretty old school They've, uh, things have moved on a long way since yeah, then. Yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. They felt phenomenally quick at 220 brake with the, with the stock suspension and brakes on. There was still a, a serious contender for anything else on the road. Do you want to just run us through the mods on the chassis and the brakes? Uh, okay, yeah, so starting with the brakes, it's got AP four pots on the front running AP road going uh, pads. AP separate bells and rotors, and nice. then on the back it's stock uh, stock calipers and discs and stock stock pads. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Yeah. Wheels are also super sexual. Compromotive MO6s, very very popular choice actually for uh, for Cosworth. Yeah. People might say common, but it was sort of my childhood dream to have this car <laughs> with these wheels. So. Uh, well, I kind of think they really suit the car. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they're definitely uh, an iconic wheel for the car. Yeah. I think, yeah. Very sort of motorsport esque, and obviously Ford have a massive history in motorsport. Don't yeah, they? absolutely. Yeah. 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 Standard colour. Uh, yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. Well, I ordered them in uh, in that colour. Yeah, like a sort gray. of anthracite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely colour, man. What about the tyres? The shit. <laughs> the tyres are shit. It did seem a little bit wheel spinny. <laughs>
perfectly honest. <laughs> you know. It had a set of Focus RS wheels on when I bought it with these beautiful Nankang tires. I think they're called ditch finders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they are. They're, they're old school Nankangs and I was just sort of like, well, I'll put them onto the compromotives and when they dissipate, I'll put some decent ones on and do so few miles in the car that they're sort of, they're standing the test of time. What about the suspension? Yeah, she's on uh, Bilstein Tarmac Rally spec coilovers. Again, not fitted by myself. All the arms are standard Cosworth, but uh, polybushed. Sort of everything front to back is poly polybushed on the car. Just to help with the, like, the rigidity a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 absolutely. These were always sort of iconic. You used to see them at the cruises always squatting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they do, yeah, they do a good squat on the launch. Unless it's raining, then they do a really good just standing still, <laughs> go through gears. <laughs> Roughly, what sort of values are they going for now? Oh, I suppose it depends on what you're willing to pay and how clean the car is, but I mean, anything from a really, really ropey one being about 10 up to like, I, I mean, low mileage, genuine. God, I've seen them for 35. Really? Yeah, but I don't know whether people are getting that money or not, but they're crazy mint ones, you know, yeah. I mean, full original spec, not like, not like this. So yours is now converted to two-wheel drive. What's the implications on the price? How much do you think that would really affect it? To be honest with you, I don't think it's going to make that much difference, sort of, because these are really hard to find as standard, you know, and there's just getting less and less of them. So it probably sits somewhere in the middle of the price range, but I don't think the two-wheel drive conversion will affect Makes it too a massive much. massive difference, no, yeah. No. I'm just going to pop in the car. You hold that, sir, because we are getting a little bit wet. Interior is lovely. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah, feels feels like a luxury vehicle compared yeah, to driving the M3. Yeah. Cheeky little boost gauge yeah, down here with a with a, with a Ford. Oh, that's Ford quite cool. Yeah. It. Very nice. Doesn't quite go high enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm loving the sort of iconic like square dash. Yeah, it's very very cool, man. Very very eighties. They were designed in the eighties. Leather is actually super comfortable. I'd probably say that this leather is better than modern day leather, man. I would say so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think. I don't quote me on this again, but I, th I think they're Connolly Hyde, which is which is quite expensive. They were sort of classed as a luxury luxury interior, yeah. ripped up because they came in a cloth interior and a leather interior. Sunroof was standard. Yeah, standard sunroof. Yeah. Electric or oh no, it's a manual manual windy. Yeah, that's it. Show us manual. how that works because a lot of people watching probably never seen a manual sunroof. Manual sunroof, <laughs> very posh, <laughs> mate. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, we're getting wet. <laughs> actually, actually works as well. All standard gearbox. Uh, it's a Cosworth T5 gearbox, uh, which is just a really really good solid gearbox. Um, I haven't had the need to upgrade it, but if I explode it, I will. And what would that have originally come in? Uh, that would have come in RS500, Sierra 3 door, two wheel drive Sapphire Cosworth. Oh, they were they were quite common at the time. And to save us getting any more wet, should we take it for a little spin? Yeah, why not, mate? Yeah. <laughs> this car's wild, man. Just got <laughs> the weather is not in our favour. No, no that's, that's a fucking understatement. <laughs> and not only that, the heater motors aren't working either, so we can't really see where we're going. We've got the blue roll at the ready. <laughs> Should be alright once we get moving. Mate, this is it. Ghetto car reviews for the win. Makes such good noises, this car. Oh. Massively loud this either. What was it? We didn't really go through the exhaust system because we got rained on. Strange mongoose, I believe. Uh, mongoose guy, that's yeah. taking it back a bit, isn't it? Yeah, old mongoose. Yeah, yeah, some old school, uh, old school terminology there. Is mongoose still about? Genuinely, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know either, man. Where do you think your love, love of Fords comes from, Dave? 
Uh, well, when I was a kid, my uh, my dad used to own a local Ford dealership. Oh, mad. So this was sort of, this was the cream of the crop. This was the iconic. Top model. Yeah, iconic top model of uh, a Ford. And only certain dealerships were allowed to sell them. Uh, you had to have an RS license, license to, mad. To, sell, to sell Cosworths. So it was sort of, you know, it was right up there with my uh, with my dream cars. Bit of like a child childhood dream kind of thing. Yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like underneath what's the condition like yeah, it's actually not bad at all to be honest it's been a it's been a pretty well maintained car but at the same time it has been a car that has been used been used greg the previous owner um he didn't use it an awful lot to be honest i haven't used it an awful lot either uh but the lad who had it before neil i mean he drove it to work and back every day used it like a sort yeah, of as a yeah, daily yeah, yeah fair he, play he really he really did use it it's quite nice, there's always the danger with these cars. I know some of them are worth a huge amount of money, they're great investments and people want to keep the low mileage, but it's sometimes maybe, and it's a little bit sad to see something so nice not really getting used. Yeah, I think a lot of people are sort of buying them and they're just being trailer queens and garage queens. I mean, granted, I, I keep mine dry inside and I, generally speaking, don't drive it in the rain. Yeah. But when I do drive it, I drive it, you know, the way it's, the how, way, how it's the way, to be the way I think Ford intended it to be, uh, to be used. <laughs> so slippery this car man. <laughs> not even on fucking boost. <laughs> Big credit to the Sierra for surviving the rain. Yeah, maximum respect. And big credit for Dave for uh, even daring to take the Sierra out in the rain. That was definitely an interesting experience, Jesus. <laughs>